Hey everyone, this is Fanta. I'm back with another tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to dual boot Kubuntu on site with the Windows 10 using this USB flash drive. So guys, make sure to watch the video till the end and give it a like and subscribe. So let's just start installing Kubuntu on site with the Windows 10. Alright guys, so here I am in my laptop and uh, this is the USB flash drive. So I'm going to just put this uh, into the USB port. And this is already running Windows 10 right now, so I'm gonna just install the Kubuntu alongside with this Windows 10. So for that, let's go to the browser. Alright, so here you're gonna just need two things. So one is the Kubuntu ISO file. So for that, let's search for Kubuntu and go to kubuntu.org. By the way, don't worry, you can find the link of this page down in the description of this video. So you can just go from there so here i'm gonna select download kubuntu and here i will download the kubuntu latest version 64 bit so just click on that and it will start downloading the kubuntu iso file now i have already done that so i don't need to download it all over again because this is gonna take some time so once i've done that let's search for rufus and go to this page and again you can find the link of this page down in the description of this video so here you are gonna have to just download this one rufus so just click on that and in, that is basically it so i'm gonna just close the browser and after i've downloaded those two things here they are one is rufus software and one is the kubuntu iso file so i'm gonna double click on the rufus software all right so here we are in uh, rufus so here all you have to do is just make sure that it has automatically selected your usb flash drive so this is the one 32 gigabytes so if it doesn't show your usb flash drive here then just try plugging out the usb flash drive and then just plug it in again and it will detect your usb flash drive so once that is uh, done I'm going to just click on select and here just select the ISO file this is the one so click on open and that is basically it I'm going to just click on start click on ok yes click on ok now this is going to take some time so while it is doing its job uh, let's go search for partition and go to create and format disk hard disk partitions alright so here let's just zoom in so here what i have to do is just create a new partition for the kubuntu now you're gonna have to do it very carefully so basically do not touch the c drive here where the windows is installed and yeah so remember one thing and that is do not touch the c drive these other drives as well the efi system partition and the recovery partition so these three are the most important partitions for the windows so just don't make any modifications so with this partitions so i'm gonna choose the d partition here and i'm gonna create a new partition out of this uh, d drive so i'm gonna just right click now i'm saying this over and over again and that is do not touch the c drive and these other partitions just pick the one where windows is not installed uh, uh, spare drive normally it's a storage drive for everyone so for me it's the d drive so i'm gonna just right click on that and then click on shrink volume and here i'm gonna type 30 gigabytes but you can take a bigger storage for this one uh, to install kubuntu maybe like 50 gigabytes or 60 or 100 gigabytes or more than that but at least you should have uh, 20 gigabytes uh, separated for the kubuntu so i'm going to choose uh, 30 gigabytes here so click on shrink and as you can see this is our new partition which is 30 gigabytes unlocated uh, this is the one so once i've done that close it and as you can see that our usb flash drive is ready as well so i'm gonna just close it now all i'm gonna do is just reboot my computer uh, restart my laptop and show you the process after that okay right, so i'm gonna restart the computer now and while this is restarting i'm gonna keep pressing the esc key on the keyboard so for you this is gonna be the esc key this one or the 
F10 or the F12 or for some it can be like F2 I guess as well so for me uh, this is the ESC key right over here so I'm gonna just keep pressing that while my computer is booting so let's just restart the computer so right now I'm gonna keep pressing this button and as you can see this is gonna bring me the BIOS interface alright guys so from here you can only use the keyboard but if you have a UEFI interface then you're gonna uh, be able to use the mouse cursor as well so for me I'm gonna just use the keyboard so here all we have to do is search for the boot menu or the boot option the priority list so here I'm gonna go to the boot here and then here and as you can see that there's a section called boot option priorities so you're gonna find this option uh, this section for basically every computer so here what I have to do is just select the USB flash drive so for me this is the one I don't know if you can see this uh, alright guys so this is the one this is my USB flash drive so basically what I'm gonna do is go to the boot option one press enter and here I'm gonna select my USB flash drive press enter and this will put the USB flash drive at the top so this is what I want so so after I've done that let's go ahead and save it and exit let's click on yes I mean press enter and all right guys so now I'm gonna install the Kubuntu so I'm gonna click on install Kubuntu and I will select uh, continue click on continue here as well and I will go with the normal installation so I'm going to click on continue again now guys this is the important part so you're gonna to have to be very careful here so this is the partitioning part so I'm gonna go with the manual and do not use the guided just remember one thing and that is do not use the these options uh, use entire disk if you choose this one then it will erase all of your windows files and there will be no windows left so you're gonna have to choose the manual option and here click on continue and now i'm gonna do the partitioning so first of all i'm gonna search for uh, look for the partition uh, the drive that i have separated earlier so this is gonna be this one free space so i'm gonna select that and here i will type 512 and then i will select efi system partition here and uh, just click on ok and then select the free space again the 30 gigabytes of storage select that and then i will put 8000 here so basically you're gonna put ram size here so if you have a 8 gigabytes of ram then you're gonna have to put 8000 here and if you have a 4 gigabytes of ram then you you'll put 4000 here so i'm gonna just go with this one so this time i'm gonna select swap area and click on ok and finally select the free space again and i'm gonna change nothing here and this time i'm gonna just select the ext4 file system and i will make it the root partition and then just click on ok and once you've done all of this just click on install now click on continue and i'm gonna give it a name choose a password confirm your password all right click on continue and basically our job is done so it's gonna install the Kubuntu now all right so it said installation complete and it is asking to restart the computer so let's click on restart now and it says please remove the installation medium then press enter so I'm gonna just remove the Yes, the flash drive. All right, so I removed this. Use the flash drive and uh, press enter. All right, guys. So this is our Kubuntu. So I'm gonna select 
Ubuntu here so as you can see that this is the Windows Windows uh, boot manager so if you select that one it will take you to Windows and if you select this one then it will take you to Kubuntu so let's just select Ubuntu here so this is the login screen so we'll just type my password and log in and this is basically it so this is our Kubuntu now the thing here is that uh, this is a trigger display and that is why it is showing everything uh, very small so I'm going to just fix it go to settings and I'm going to change the resolution here so I'll go with this one we can apply and I think this is much better alright guys so we have it successfully installed Kubuntu and let's just go to the windows and sh just to show you that that windows is still running perfectly so i'm gonna just quickly restart click on restart and this time here i'm gonna select windows boot manager click on select that press enter and this will take us to windows so this is our windows and as you can see that everything is working perfectly all right so yep this is it so guys thank you for watching i hope this video is helpful and if it was you can give it a like and subscribe i will really appreciate that and i'll see you in the next video